we were buskers basically on the street and at the time we did it it was the street was all it was alive with music it was an incredible time to, to spend and I don't, you know it's hard to explain what it was like but it was just it was brilliant it was all these incredible memories of, of being young and being free and crazy on the street There was a sort of magic about him. And he was this relentless dreamboat. A knight that stepped out of a story. Deep, you know, like um, real. The passion he had and the way he sort of changed when he sang, it was kind of weirdly at odds with this very boyish, silly, fun kind of persona that he had out, outside of that. For me, he was my, my hero, my prince, my, you know, like, I'd be so proud to be a friend of Mix. I kind of only realised that long after Mr. had passed, kind of how much cooler he was than me. But yeah, he had a different way of putting things. His lyrics weren't straightforward, they weren't, uh, they were unique. Never, never heard of him like before. Never. Or since. Everybody kind of knew this is not going to end well. It's, you know, obviously hard to talk about because it's, I know it's like 16 years or whatever. But like, it shouldn't have happened. You know, that, like this should none of this should have happened. Uh, I think we all kind of expected the bad news. And you continue to question it and think about how, just how tenuous life is. What happens to a spirit when it's so full of life and so full of, 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 of his positivity? What happens to a man that's when it's, he's just wrenched out of it?